Hello everyone. In this video, we'll be finding the value of x in this 3x3 three three matrix. But before we begin, if you are new here, please consider subscribed. Now let's get started. This 58 over here means that when you find the determinant of this 3x3 three three matrix, you'll be getting 58. Okay, so we'll be using the determinant approach to find the value of x from this problem. All right. Now, in finding the determinant of a 3x3 three three matrix, if we take an element, let's say 2 over here, the rest of the element on this column, and then the rest of the element on this row are not considered. So you can see that we are left with 2x2 two two matrix over here. So here we have 2, then 1, x, negative 2, and then 3 over here. All right. So we are done with this 2. Now let's focus on this negative 5 over here. You can see that here we have negative sign over here. So negative, negative is positive. So this side becomes plus 5, okay? Then taking this negative 5, the whole of the element on this column and then the whole of the element on this row are not considered. So you can see that we are left with 3, 1, negative 2, and then 3, okay? As the 2 by 2 matrix. All right, now let's consider this negative one. So from here, the whole of this element on this column and then the whole of these elements on this row are also not considered. So from here, we have negative one over here since the sign over here is positive because positive negative is still negative, all right? So we have negative one over here. Then we have three, one, one X. All right, so this is the determinant approach. Now let's simplify this. So we have two over here. Now the rule for two by two matrix is that when you take the first element of the first row, then you multiply it with the second element of the second row, okay? Then minus, when you take the first element of the second row, then you multiply it with the second element of the first row. So this one becomes one times three is three, then minus, x times negative 2 is negative 2x. Okay, so we are done with this one. Now let's come to this side. You apply the same idea here. We have 5 over here. Then 3 times 3 is 9. Okay, then minus 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. Okay, right. So let's come to this side. We have negative 1 over here. Then 3 times x is 3x then minus 1 times 1 is still 1, okay? And this is equal to 58. You don't have to forget the 58 actually. All right. So from this side, let's go ahead and then simplify what is in the bracket first. So we have 2 into, then 3 minus minus 2x is 3 plus 2x, okay? Then we have plus 5 over here. Then we have 9 minus minus 2 is nothing but 11, okay? Then we have minus sign over here. Then here we have 3x minus 1. And this is equal to 58. All right, so let's go ahead and then simplify this again. 2 times 3 is 6. Then 2 times 2x is 4x, all right? So we are done with this one. Now let's come here. 5 times 11 is nothing but... 55 okay then here we have negative 1 times 3x is negative 3x then negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1 okay and this is equal to 58 all right now from here we have 4x minus 3x is x over here then 6 plus 55 is 61 then plus 1 is 62 so we have plus 62 over here and this is equal to 58 all right now making x the subject from here we have x plus 62 minus 62 is equal to 58 minus 62 okay so that this 62 will cancel this negative 62 now we have x is equal to 58 minus 62 is negative 4 Okay, now the value of x in this problem is negative 4. So if you put negative 4 over here, then the determinant of this one becomes 58. Okay, 
I hope you found this video useful. Please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thanks a lot for watching. See you again on the next video.